What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. This time we've got the one that's at the top of everyone's list, Vice Admiral Holdo, number 80 from the line. You can see on the box there, nice picture of Holdo. On the back, we've got the little write up. Commanding officer of the Resistance Cruiser Ninka, Vice Admiral Holdo has been a trusted ally of General Leia Organa for years. Holdo radiates a quiet confidence with her measured words, but it would be enough to light the encroaching darkness. So despite anyone's hang-ups on the character, um, and I'll be honest, I have a couple myself. This is a standout figure. This is a really nice looking action figure. Um, they've done a great job. I have done a little bit of customizing it, just straight out the box, just to tidy it up a little bit. Um, mainly revolving around the soft goods of this thing, because you know, Hasbro like it with their soft goods. Um, you know, I just felt like I could fine tune it just a fraction. So I will go through what I've done as we talk about the figure. So we'll get a good close look up at the head sculpt. And it's quite bright in this room at the moment. Just got an almighty burst of sunshine. But a really nicely sculpted hair. I think it looks fantastic. Obviously there's a... Uh, Photo real face paint apps are, are doing wonders. I don't think this figure would have been quite quite as nice without it. Spinning your head around. That sculpt work is incredible. It's done a really good job with it. Just got our blaster pistol there. Can't remember off the top of my head what the pistol's called. Details there on the wrist. He's wearing a ring or index finger there. And another ring on that hand. And the sort of hood and the draping down the back. Looks nice. Um, I think I personally would have preferred the whole thing be sort of sculpted. Um, it doesn't look as bad as some of the pre preliminary images that came out. I thought they would look didn't look too flash at all um, but they've colour matched the fabric really well um, it works quite nicely so what I've basically done is I've just tidied up this, this soft goods a little bit around around the upper chest around the neck um, because what was happening there was quite a lot of fabric it was sort of sitting over this, the collar here which is a separate piece uh, for, the, for her outfit so what I've done is I've just taken some small little squares of double-sided tape and I've just put them underneath along the uh, shirt line because underneath there is a sculpted sculpted shirt. Uh, can't really show. Uh, it's, you can see it under there, it is coloured. Um, so what I've done is I've just put some double-sided tape just in some spots around, around the figure, around that sort of collar. And then as I've sort of slipped the, the top of the soft goods back over, I've just sort of carefully just touched it on there um, and then just pushed it pushed it down, giving it a little bit, just so you can see that separate skin tone coming through there in the middle. It just makes it a little bit more appealing. And then I also got some thread uh, from my wife's cross stitch stuff and I just bunched that up at the back. Just because, just to tighten it around her her waist a little bit more, um, I just feel like that's a nice slender look, and I think the gown itself was really nice. Um, but yeah, it was just a little bit bit overhanging. It was really quite loose, um, and yeah, I think this just tidies it up a little bit. Just to, and uh, yeah, just a bit of double sided tape on, under there just to keep that down, but. That's not really, not really doing a lot for me, so I might take that off afterwards. So that's basically all I've done, just to tidy this figure up a little bit. Um, I didn't want to use glues or anything. I may get us some fabric glue. I didn't want to use super glue, because super glue will tend to tend to soak into the fabric and give it, giving it a terrible look. Um, I've learned that the hard way with figures in the past. Uh, so don't use super glue, because yeah, like I said, the fat it soaks into the fabric and we'll change the color. So yeah, just some small tabs of double-sided tape. 
and yeah, I'm quite happy with this figure now. Articulation wise, she's got the ball jointed head, and I think he's got a bit of a ball jointed neck going into the collar of that sort of collar piece. Ball head shoulders, elbows, wrists, a mid torso joint in there. She's got ball hinged hips, swivel cup thighs, uh, double joints at the knees. Ooh. Watch your eyes. Oh, she's wearing a leotard sort of thing underneath. Double joint of knees and ankles with those boots. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I did just post a ridiculous photo. <laughs> you can go and check it out. That's Vice Admiral Amelin Holdo. Um, yeah, definitely not as bad as a figure as as I think people were dreading. I, yeah, like I said, despite your hang-ups on the character, this is a good action figure, and I'm I'm glad to have her in my collection. She'll fill out the fill out the area of my last Jedi shelf a little bit more, which is nice. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Any comments and feedback, drop them in the comments below. And until my next video, may the force be with you.